Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I wanted to come on and share with you what I will be sending Isabel, who is Crafting with Isabel here on YouTube, for her birthday challenge. She asked for a pocket letter, and of course Loki is super excited. Uh, an ATC, a birthday card, and then anything else you wanted to make her or whatever. Um, this is the ATC that I made her and I used this purple fantasy or dark fantasy paper collection. Um, her favorite color is purple, so I went with purples and pinks. Um, and I used this die cut from Little Birdie, beautiful flowers with a little glitter. I added some Little Birdie uh, drops for little accents and then it says follow your heart if you know Isabel not only does she loves purple but she loves vintage um, so I tried to combine the, the two of them this is the card that I will be sending her and I put a little note inside and I love these little girls I think they're absolutely pretty and precious and it says friends are the best gifts of all so that will be her card and then for her pocket letter, I decided to alter a manila file folder. And I anchored brads in here to hold it in place, but I didn't want to cover the brads so she can take it out, repurpose this, maybe make some tags out of it, do whatever she wants with it. I did finish it on the inside and I did distress the edges in black soot. Um, and then those are the brads that are keeping it in place. But this is the pocket letter that I did for her. And I used more of those lavender flowers and more of the um, sentiments that are in that vintage tone. And it says, enjoy today, be true to you and live in the moment. Uh, be a voice, not an echo. Be grateful, be courageous. Focus on the good, strive for greatness and follow your heart. And then I use these little mini rosebuds that I believe I got from Daiso, some twine, and just try to give it a little vintage feel. I did distress all the die cuts. And in the back, I will be filling it up with goodies, but there's more of the paper collection that I used. And I think it came out super cute. And again, she can take this out, add it into her binder or... Uh, whatever storage system she's using and uh, repurpose the envelope for something else but I thought this would be cute as a presentation and I did add some purple trim and then of course you can take these brads out and be good to go so of course I made her something else and it's really really big so I'm gonna try my best to get it in frame as soon as I figure out what safe spot I put it in. Okay, it's right here. So, hold on. Let me grab this. I saw this on a tutorial. Uh, I believe it's Christiane's Crafty Adventure. Or, um, I know she's really popular. And um, this came together very easily. And it's a little caddy that I filled up with some goodies and this drawer opens and I, I filled up some stuff in there that she can use uh, for her junk journaling, her album making, these are tea bags, some gold threads, some uh, velcro dots and then I don't know why this drawer catches something in there okay and then here on the side, I did some ruffle trim using that table runner in gold. I also um, sewed some uh, paper ruffles for her and I just used some tissue paper to keep it in there. When she takes this all out, it can be used for storage. On this side, I created a small um, ideas book and I made this out of a scarf. And it had the lavenders. It has three signatures in there. And it's really meant to you to, when you create your uh, tucks and, and embellishments for your junk journal, that you can kind of have a place to put it. And then when you're unsure, or sometimes you, you just 
draw a blank. Um, you can refer back in here and remember, oh wow, I did that, I, I, I wanna do that again. Um, so there goes the banner tags that I did. And I just did a few, here's a side talk with a little booklet that sits in there. Um, I did a corner tuck here and I used some of these pretty um, stickers that we all been getting, the, the metallic ones from Dollar Tree and I thought that was really cute there. Um, and then she can continue to fill the rest. I just did a few. Uh, this is just like a little journaling bag or a baggy paper bag that I made. So I made her that and I did anchor all the corners so that can sit in that pocket and then the rest of the pockets i just filled with some goodies that i thought she might enjoy some of my handmade flowers are in there some stuff for her and then um some vintage junk journaling and some digital um kits that i decided to print for her um one that she can scan in and keep for herself and then the other one ready to go so this is the little uh, caddy that I created for her so she can keep on her desk with all her junk ju junk journaling goodies and I hope she likes it of course this video will go up after she's received it and a link to her channel will be down below as always stay blessed stay healthy stay safe and I'll see you real, real soon now bye